Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. This is going to be a no-nonsense guide for you to upgrade your shield in Blood of the Dead. First of all, let's build the shield. I'll remind you how to do it now. There are three red power boxes that you need to check for a blue spectral energy part. Then we're going to get another part which is basically a silver door that can be found on the stairs going down from the citadel or in an archway at the bottom of the citadel or just opposite the power area. Then finally, we need one final part, and that's the Warden's Key, and that can be acquired just by killing any Warden in your game. Once you have the three parts, you can build the shield on any of the buildable's benches, and equipping the shield, you'll notice that you have a key in your right hand, which you can use to drain souls from zombies that are running around the map, and also kill dogs extremely quickly, which is really useful. And you can also aim down sight with your L2 or left trigger, to go into spirit vision or spectral vision. Now, if you suck up three souls and then do left trigger and right trigger, you'll do a spirit blast. This is all stuff that we're fairly familiar with with the regular shield. The total shield blast kind of ammo count that you have with the regular shield is two, and you can take about 15 to 16 hits before the shield will break. To upgrade your shield, go to the mystery box and start spinning it. Eventually, you'll get a teddy. Now, in Blood of the Dead, instead of an actual teddy bear, you just have a lock as the teddy icon. As you're trying to upgrade your shield specifically, you're going to want to pull your shield out every time you hold square to hit the box. This is because you need to be ready to use your key and kind of, I guess, suck the lock a little bit as soon as it appears when you do get a teddy. Press right trigger straight away as soon as you see that lock, your little beam will go out and connect to the lock, and then after a second you need to throw your tomahawk or retriever or redeemer if you want at it. If you don't know how to get the Hell's Retriever, there is a guide for it on my channel, I will link it in the description down below and on the screen right now in the top right hand corner. When done successfully and you suck the lock for a second and then you chuck your tomahawk at it, you will basically redeem the lock and it will attach to your shield. This upgrades the shield into the attuned spectral shield. The main known differences so far between the two shields is that instead of only being able to hold two charges, you can now hold four, which is extremely useful for the Blood of the Dead Easter egg, so I highly recommend doing this upgrade in your game. Moreover, you can also withstand more hits from zombies. Normally, you can only withstand about 15, 16, like I said. With the upgrade, though, you can withstand closer to 20 or 21. This means also that during the boss fight in Blood of the Dead, your shield is less likely to break, which is extremely important because you need the shield in order to get through it. This makes this upgrade a pretty essential process in your game, and so... I wouldn't skip out on it if I were you. It really doesn't take very much time. You're going to be hitting the box anyway, most likely. So just get it done. I'll have some gameplay on screen of me using the attuned spectral shield now so you can get a feel for what it might kind of look like if you were to use it in your game. I have to stress that the regular shield and the upgraded shield are both fantastic for killing dogs. And so seeing as there are so many dogs on Blood of the Dead, it's a bit of a no-brainer to at least have the regular shield on your person at pretty much all times. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention is that you can use your shield blast to revive downed teammates, and you don't need a direct line of sight to them, you can be blocked by a zombie and just shoot the blast, and the zombie will die and your teammate will get rezzed. It's pretty great. Now, I would not be surprised at all if there was a further shield upgrade on this map. I think the Judging by the shield upgrades that we had in maps like Garod Krovi and others in Black Ops 3, I suspect that there may be more here and there may be a further shield upgrade. However, for now, we don't know what that would be. And as such, I'm posting this as basically the full shield upgrade guide. Hopefully it's been useful, guys. This has been a no-nonsense guide from me. And so if you guys could show some support and hit the subscribe button or the like button, that would be massively appreciated. For now though, I'm going to leave you with a couple of links on screen to other videos that you could check out about Black Ops 4 Zombies, such as my Blood of the Dead main quest easter egg guide, and some other fun videos recommended just for you. Cheers for watching, see you soon hopefully, bye for now.